Are you looking for a free open source invoicing platform? Let's discover Creator, a free open source tool to prepare estimates, invoice and get paid by your customers. Instead of losing time tracking your payments and generating invoices for your customers, its recurring billing and customer portal features let you focus on what matters most for your business. Before diving into the platform overview and discovering its features, let's see the options we have to start using it. For their cloud version, you can submit a form on their website to get contacted back by their sales team. No idea about their pricing. You can self-deploy it by following their manual or docker installation guide in their documentation or you can use a platform like ours, Elestio, to deploy the self-hosted version on the cloud provider of your choice while we take care of the installation, backups, updates and maintenance for you. To start using Creator with our platform, head to ls.io and click on login. Then click on deploy my first service, search for Creator and hit select. Choose between the different cloud providers, region and service plans based on your need, then click on the next button. Adjust the final settings, choose between the different level of support, I will keep the free included one, and once you are ready, hit the create service. Once the installation is finished, you will receive an email, follow the click here to get the password link. Then copy the password to your clipboard and follow the admin UI link here. There is an additional installation setup that we need to follow, so let's do it. Check requirements and continue. We don't need to touch anything for the permissions, just hit continue and then we have a few settings to change. Don't worry, the steps are including in the mail that you received earlier. So the username is root, database host is db and database name is creator. Then the password, we have it in our clipboard. Username is root, we paste the password and the database name is creator. Then we can click on save and continue, but we have an error. Mm, I didn't set the host correctly, so it's db. And here for the host, you need to change it to db. Let's try it again. This time it's working correctly. Let's verify now our domain. Perfect. Now the mail configuration. You have the choice between different mail driver. If you already have an SMTP server, for example, Amazon SOS, you can set up the configuration here or use the mail default one, which I will use for this demonstration. And then click on save and it's time to use Creator. So first, what we need to do is to create our account information, which is our personal information. So first the profile picture and the name, email and define a password. Then save and continue. Now is your company or business information. First, you can upload your logo, then the name and address. I'm using fake data for this demo. Then save and continue. Then we need to adjust the settings. So the currency, you have the choice between all the major currencies. For this video, I will be using US dollar, but of course, use the one of your business. You can choose between different languages for the platform. Choose the date format, which will be applied on your estimates, on your invoices. I will stick with the default one. Then the time zone. I will choose mine and the financial year. Most of the time it will be January, December, but sometimes when you open your business in the middle of the year, it would start at that month until the next year. So every time it won't be the same as the year itself. So let's choose a random one and save and continue. We have one warning that the company currency cannot be changed later. So be sure that you selected the correct one first, then OK. We arrive on the dashboard. It can become your best friend if your business is doing well or your worst enemy if you don't have enough customers and current projects. As we have no data yet, it feels kind of empty. So let's start by creating our first customer. The UI of the platform is very nice. Let's click on new customer, enter some information such as the company name, the name of your contact there. For the email, I used mine with a plus, so I will be able to receive the messages from creator. Let's enable for this customer the portal access. We will see it later, but it's nice to see it. So let's just define a password and I will copy the URL in my clipboard. We will see it right after. You can enter your customer billing address and shipping address. Let's copy it from the billing one. And once you are good, you can save your customer. Not every software provides this view. You can see your customer and you have 
details for this customer with a graph to see how it's going how much you are earning from that customer or if you have new invoices let's jump into the main feature being able to create estimates and invoices we have nothing so let's create a new one first we need to assign a customer to that estimate here you have a nice search bar but we only have one customer or you can create one let's select the one that we just created you can adjust the estimate date and the date of expiration the estimate number but it's auto incrementing let's add items into our estimates why we want to charge our customer let's say we are a website development company we provide days of website development you can just type it and define a price like this or you can save it as an item if it's something that you provide to many customers is the right approach as it is a day i need to define the price per day so let's say we charge 1000 and unfortunately on the unit it's only for quantities you can say day that's why it's in the name of my item so we keep it empty you can add more details in the description but we will skip it and save then let's say for this project you estimate it at 12 days you have the amount automatically calculated you can add some notes to the document as discussed today on the phone and you can also insert fields that will appear on the estimate or later in the invoice for example the customer display name or any data that you have you can also choose the look of the estimate that it will generate in the end click here on select template you have the choice between those three simple but good looking designs the one with the logo on top this one with a background color and the logo on the left and logo on the left. I will stick to the default one. And when you choose it, you can mark it as default or not. Okay, let's cancel it was the one by default. On the right, you can add discount and add the tax. And because you don't want to define your tax rate at every estimate, you have the add new tax button. You name it, let's say UVAT 20%. You can add a description if it's a compound tax and save. And now it is applied on our estimate with the correct total calculated here. Better with the cam not hiding it. Once you are good, save estimate. It redirects you to the list of estimates. On the left, you can see we have this draft we just created. Currently, it's not accessible to our customer yet, but we have the preview of the PDF file. And either you click on send estimate, it will send it to the registered email address you define for this customer. Or you can also just mark it as sent if you use your personal email to send it. Now remember, in our clipboard, we have the customer portal. It's asking me my email password. Type the one you defined earlier and log in. This is the interface your customer can use. So they find everything related to them the estimates, the invoice, and the payments made. This look very professional and it can help you to build trust with your customers. Let's say I am the customer, I want to open my estimate. The only downside, so here we have the list, we see the file, but we can't validate it as a customer. We can't say anything, we just need to contact our provider elsewhere. So once our customer accepts it, but it's done outside of Crater, as in the business, we need to mark it as accepted. Okay. And once the business is done, we can convert it to an invoice. Okay. This will prefill it with what you define in the estimate, but you can still adjust it a little bit before creating your invoice. Once it, everything is correct, save it. And you have exactly the same interface you had for estimates. You can mark it as send or send the invoice. If you use the send invoice button, you can see what email address you are using it, to what email address it's prefilled automatically with your customer settings. And you can adjust the subject and the body and you have a nice preview of what your customer will receive. Once you are good, hit the send button. Now, if we reload the customer portal, we can see that the estimate has been accepted. And if we open the dashboard, 
we can see that we have that due invoice with that amount. And it's a safe place for your customers to download the invoices without them having to request it to you. Unfortunately, if we go to the payment section, from here we are not able to make payments. So again, it has to go outside of Creator. So your customer pay you and then you record the payment. Select if everything was paid or adjust the amount of what has been paid. The payment method and save it. It automatically generates a payment receipt that you can send to your customer. I know some countries mainly use invoices and some other use mainly payment receipts for accounting purpose. And of course, on the customer portal, your customers are able to download their receipt. Okay, we have seen that payments can't be done inside of Creator currently. Maybe it's coming in a later version, but there is still that very useful feature, the recurring invoice. What it is, is instead of creating manually every month, every year, an invoice for your customer, you will create a recurring one that will create invoices automatically. You can define if it's endless, like limit by known, or if it stops at a certain date. For example, you pay the hosting of a website until the end of the year. So you validate until next year, beginning of October. Or you can also use by a number of time. You say you pay 12 months or 10 years, you could use the count. Then you can choose how often you will generate an invoice. For example, every week, every year, every six months, or on the first day of every month at midnight. You can also enable the send automatically. So your customers will receive the invoices and they will just have to pay you. But you will still have to manually validate that they paid you. For all the items, it's like what we did earlier. Let's say this time is hosting. It's 1000 a year. Again, we don't have the right units. Save. Nothing new here. What we saw with invoices and estimates, you can save it. Because we won't wait one month for this video. Unfortunately, the invoices generated will be empty. But what you can see is that it will create invoices, a regular one that you will see in the invoice panel. But by looking at them here, you will know that they are coming from this recurring one. The other menu we have is items. So it's what we used when we created the line items in our estimates and recurring invoices. But you can configure them and edit them from here. You want to charge your customers. Creator is great for that, but it's also good to track your expenses. Let's say for the hosting, we are not a hosting provider. So what we have is expenses. You can select a category. Let's say hosting. Let's say we charge 100 and it costs us $80. So the margin here wouldn't be much on the hosting, but more on the development cost. You assign the customer related. We only have this one. You choose how you paid it. Let's say bank transfer. You can attach a receipt, but we don't have one and save expense. Perfect. We have our expense here. But this is not that view that interests us the most. The best will be to look at the reports that it generates. You have the choice between three different type of reports. The sales, so you can see everything that you charged. You can choose the period, but also the type of report you want to make. By customer and by item. You also have the profit and loss, which show you your income minus the expenses to get your net profit. You can also have a report of your expenses and your tax. Then let's say you want to give access to your creator, to your accountant, or a member in your team in charge of that. You go to users, you add a new user. You just have to fill the info here. But the best part is if you go to the settings, then into roles. Currently, we are using our instance as the super admin. But when you invite other users, you want to give them some specific permissions. Maybe you want your sales team only to be able to create estimates and invoices and your accountant to only see the reports. But you don't want to give full control to everyone. For features that I didn't cover in this video, I highly recommend you to have a look at the documentation. I will put the link in the description. Thank you for watching, we hope you enjoyed discovering Creator with us. Please hit the like button to help our channel be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our next platform overviews. If you want to continue your open source journey, I recommend you watch this video, available here.